currently repairing? Oh, yeah, you are. Yeah, I really do need to build up my light ship squadron. So build me two more submarines, and I think I'm going to switch to light cruisers. Because now losing my convoys is a bad thing. I mean, those are Australian, but same thing, really. Friendly convoys being lost is bad. you guys doing? Are you preparing to invade Siam? Is that what's happening here? Strategic bomber effort. Oh yeah, this is the effect of decryption. I can see everything that they've got. Kodahar faction. Alliance of Siam. It looks like they got that a while ago. Did Siam actually accept? Ah, that's the problem. Okay. That makes sense. Oh, the Philippines still aren't dead, are they? They retook Manila. Yeah, they did. Well done. Sank a submarine. That's my tactical bombers doing their naval patrol. I always get worried when I lose a ship over here. That's where my light cruiser is active. It's like, you're my only one! Didn't the Netherlands have air carriers in Indonesia in World War II? I think two of them. Not sure. Possibly. I know woefully little about Dutch efforts in Indonesia. Unfortunately, it's not the type of thing they teach at English schools. <clears throat> 30 submarines. Okay, no wonder they are doing some damage here. Yes, I really do need to ramp up my destroyer production. Really, really, really do. It looks like they've abandoned their attempts. Oh, nope. There are still a lot of enemy ships here. Okay, now we're going to go and start upgrading this. Is that the right one? Yeah, it is. Well, we definitely want them to have a bigger engine. I think that these cruisers have to be armoured. And they're going to need a bunch of AA. Being in the Pacific Theatre. I think we also need to upgrade their guns. Active sonar. I still don't have ra still don't have radar. I do have radar. Thought so. This should be sonar. There we go. That's what I'm after. You could get a secondary gun that doesn't slow you down too much. All right. What are these going to be? These are going to be. Muddy squid. Save. And use the historical light cruisers. Update. Okay. Sorry for the spinning map there. They're going to be quite expensive. I mean, they are still light cruisers. They're not, like, tremendously, but they are quite expensive, yeah. Ooh, and they take chromium. What costs chromium? Is it the radar? 
Because the base template doesn't. Oh, I bet it's the armor. Aha, it's the armor. So if I didn't want to be importing chromium, I should go with level 2 armor. That's very good to know. Sixteenth of April, nineteen forty-five. How expensive is this? Four thousand three hundred versus my subs, which are seven hundred and ten. So we're going to be building one light cruiser to every four submarines, roughly. Let's get better radar. Increase our electronic warfare. Get better detection means we can run away faster if we see a bad guy. It's really bad. Would naval bombers be better alternative to destroyers to attack Japanese subs? Uh, no, because I don't think they have the uh, submarine detection. Having both would be best. Having a couple of destroyers or light cruisers to detect the subs, then bring in the naval bombers to sink them. That's probably the best combo. Which is ultimately what I'm going for. Oh, my convoy has participated in sinking a sub. Bizarre. Oh, that's for my steel. Right. Yes, I am importing that steel an awfully long way. So it goes. They have not invaded Siam yet, no. I think they're just waiting for Siam to declare that war, though I'd really wish they'd go and help China. Like, that is way more important right now. There we are. Let's go and build another muddy squid. We're not going to need a huge number of these, but a couple more. And crikey, that also requires rather a lot more steel import. Yes, interesting. I mean, we still have 15 factories working on my dockyards. So we are expanding those. I think China may have just capitulated. No, Hungary proclaims Greater Hungary. Having regained the lands that were taken from them in the Treaty of Trianon, Miklos Horthy issued a proclamation yesterday evening that the nation shall henceforth be known as Greater Hungary. It is hoped that this will serve to increase Greater Hungary's prestige in the eyes of the world, as well as better describe the extent of its borders. I mean, they're kind of ugly, if I'm honest there, Horthy. Quit India movement. India calls for independence have intensified lately. Now things have come to a head as the radical Quit India movement have called for the United Kingdom to leave the country as soon as possible. British authorities were quick to react, however, and have cracked down on this movement, arresting several leaders and dawn raids on homes across India. Alright, let's make you guys subs. Okay. Change you to the sub icon, so I know what you are. And now this entire fleet can be active in one more province, which I think I'm going to say is here. Yes. So again, three task forces, three regions active. I thought actually, no. I'm going to leave this one, and I'm going to merge you in with that fleet. Except that you need to be out of 10. Oh, auto split is disabled. That should not be the case. There we are. Because this is such a dangerous area, just bringing in more submarines seems like a great plan to me. Oh, we have some Japanese troops appearing in Siam now. These Japanese subs are causing problems. Yeah. 
In fact, there's not a massive amount of reason for you to be in there. You should be convoy escorting in here. It's going to be bloody dangerous, though. So make sure that you're on engage on low risk, and please do repair. Frequently and often. Okay, so we've got better depth charges. I think I want to continue upgrading that. Or possibly better float plane catapults. Now, nah, let's go depth charge. And yes, I will gladly spend 50 to make that faster. Because we know that there are Japanese submarines present in here. So we've got our one light cruiser who is going to be on convoy escort duties once he's repaired. Speaking of repairs, how are we investing? We're not investing in repairs at all. That's a mistake. Let's make this up to six factories as required. That was my bad. I wonder how long he was out damaged for. I should mention that my submarines can also detect enemy submarines. They're just not very good at it. And usually when they d detect, they'll be like, Hey, bombers, he's over there. Kill it. Just got here. Take it. Their continental European holdings have been Germanified. Yes, they have. Ever so slightly. When's the next Civil War stream? Uh, no, miss, I don't know. I was going to do it today, but it being D-Day... I decided to do Hearts of Iron. And I'm kind of enjoying this at the moment. I played an awful lot of... Ooh, another ten... Oh boy, dead. I played an awful lot of Civil War recently. What? Really? Because one random dude managed to take one random province? Great <sighs> And that's a cancel. That means that I lose any progress I had, and I think any political power that was working on it. That's going to be very annoying to finish. I miss the EU4 streams. EU4 is coming back on Sunday. For the multiplayer community clash. They are finally back. And we have some really cool plans. Counter-attack. stay here. Because <laughs> this guy is coming in to do the real damage. On that subject, a salute to the brave souls that fought the bloody mess in Normandy in 1944. Indeed. And throughout the war, in fact. Uh, one convoy sunk. Cool. What are we doing here? Another one down. Cool. Lost a couple more planes. How are we doing for planes? Whoa, boy! Okay, we have quite a few. I wonder if I'm going to try and increase my coverage of China. Yes, I think I will. Attack bombers as well. Give you a hand. So, all of you active here. You, you, you. Air superiority, you and you. Close air support. Go! You're not going to be as effective as specialised planes, but you'll be good enough. Another sub sunk. Good. More convoys sunk. Good. So, yes. 
European Universalis 4 is happening on Sunday. It is a community multiplayer game. I am doing the same as the last time, where I am sitting on top in observer mode, commentating on everything that is going on, so I can give you an analysis, I can give you insight into all the actions that the different players are making. If somebody does something especially good, or especially stupid, then I can pull them into my recording booth and say, Hey! What are you doing? And hopefully they will explain themselves, and we can basically do interviews and things like that. And being in observer mode I means I can see everything. So it should be really good. The community clash that we did last time was fantastic. It was very popular and people seem to like it. And I'm very much hoping it's going to be the same again this time. So that's going to be on Sunday, 3pm uh, British Summertime. And it's going to be awesome. And we've got like 27 players lined up, was it? Which is a lot. <laughs> and what we're doing this time is basically a goal-orientated game. So every single player, every single played nation has a set of five goals, which I've set them. So, for example... Um, I'm trying to remember what the goals are. In fact, it would be easier for me to just share the spreadsheet that we are using to show you exactly how we're doing this, which is going to be right there. So, for example, Austria needs to remove the Ottomans from Europe. So they need to be kicked out of the Balkans and Carpathia. And Cologne needs to make sure that Al Quds, also known as Jerusalem, must be Catholic, etc., etc., etc. And it should be really, really cool. Um, if you wish to join, there are still spaces. Please let me know as soon as possible. Please do so on Discord. So if you head over to the Discord, if someone would like to link, if I do it, Discord, then head over there, join our server, and send me a direct message saying I wish to play as and the available nations are currently Aragon, Sweden, Norway, Milan, Lithuania, and Novgorod. Most of all the uh, major powers have already been taken, and I've basically added those now. I haven't created goals yet, because I'm only going to do it if somebody actually chooses to play one of those nations. But it is open, so if you wish to join, then please do. I suck, so I'll just watch. You should play anyway, Trooper. It'd be great. It's three hours per session, so every Sunday, 3pm until 6pm. And those nations which I just listed, which are still open, are smaller nations, so they're not going to be as important as, say, France. So if this is your first multiplayer, this is a fantastic opportunity to join in, learn the game, learn from the other players and everything like that, and just have a good time. It should be really good. And even if you don't want to play, it should be a really good spectacle, because a lot of these goals are conflicting. So, for example, Cologne trying to make Jerusalem Catholic. Mamluks don't want that. Ottomans don't want that. Karakanulu doesn't want that. Tunis probably doesn't want that. So, yes. Many, many different conflicting goals which are going to be driving diplomacy and drive... The diplomacy is going to be a constantly shifting morass of ment mental madness. And it's going to be fantastic. And... Just in case you thought that wasn't crazy enough, every nation also has a secret goal, which I have picked and only they know, only we know. And I'm not going to talk about it at all on stream, so there's no risk of stream sniping. And those secret uh, goals are usually even more conflict driving. When is the event? I missed the first part. What is the event? This is a multiplayer, community multiplayer game of European Universalis 4. Every Sunday, 3pm until 6pm. What DLC do you need? None. No DLC required. You get the DLC from the host, and the host has all of the DLC. Got a haircut in the middle of it, but I'm going to move it just so I can watch the whole thing. Um, we do have special rules. So, for example, if you cannot make one session, that's fine. I get it. Real life comes into play. Um, we have what are called country protections, but basically we say you cannot attack this country because this player is absent. If you miss two sessions, however, then tough. On the second session, they can attack you. But generally, someone will say, okay, I need to go and visit my parents, or I'm ill today, or whatever, and they're like, okay, it's fine, we get that. We'll just say, you can't play this session, you're protected for this session, and then you can play again after that. But like I said, please message me on Discord. If you're telling me on chat you want to play, not enough you got to message me, because if you don't even message me, then there is no way that you're actually interested in playing. So message me. If you wish to play, message me. Love Paradox's DLC policy for multiplayer games has made multiplayer matches so much easier to handle amongst friends. Yes. And it's also really cool because it means you can try out different DLCs that you may not necessarily own before you decide to 
to make an investment in them. Because there's quite a lot. I, I get that. <laughs> what are the rules regarding setting the AI if you're absent? Please do it. No rules whether you actually should or shouldn't, but please do. If you are found to be abusing AI rules by being absent and then being there and then being absent and being there, then obviously there will be repercussions. Um, but so far we haven't had any, and the protection rule seems to work pretty well. And everything is, like, all the rules and stuff that I'm talking about here, they are on the Discord in the Community Multiplayer tab. We have another military factory from somewhere. Oh, that's the British industrialists doing their part. How am I doing in terms of artillery? I mean, we still have a deficit, so I think I'm going to stick another one on artillery. Now, am I able to drop that one again? Yes. It's a repeatable. Man, Poland really needs this. Like, just copy and paste these request allied favours and that would make Poland amazing to play as. So much fun. I mean, if you set your AI to attack, I mean, it's still going to be an AI versus players. And I'm trying to remember exactly what the rules are because I think we did edit them slightly. Do 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 do. Not that pinned messages. There we are. Oh, I never pinned the draft rules. Whoops. Okay, I'll need to do that when I finish here. We'll return to that later. I don't really want to talk about it too much while I'm streaming a different game. But suffice to say, you should totally come and either watch or, you know, play. Guangxi was... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Japan won. 36,000 equipment was seized. Japan took 24 states. Guangxi, Communist China, Shaanxi, Zhibai... Dictatorial Xinjiang, Yunnan, and the Philippines. Oh, they got the Philippines. That's very annoying. Although the Philippines don't actually have any air bases, so that's not going to let them bomb me. Although... We do have an air base in Hong Kong. And we do have a bunch of tactical bombers and things which are now no longer active. My thinking here is, can I... Yes, I can totally do this. Put you in there, set you to port strike, and just bomb the living daylight out of the Philippines. Because now if we do any damage to Japanese shipping, they are very likely to go to the Philippines and try to repair. This would be a mistake. And then we have these fighters who are now going to be on dual intercept. Intercept, and we'll send you down here to go to Bismarck. We'll send you here to go there. And then you. Wait and see, because I can't remember where I need you. Can't get any eyes on the Philippine Sea. Are we at war with Siam? No, still not. I don't know what I want to do with you. I think I might just send you here and have you intercept in their superiority in this area. Seeing as there's so many enemy ships and things there. And then there falls Hong Kong, which is where I've just stationed a bunch of my planes. Troops from the Empire of Japan have captured the British colony of Hong Kong. And they are now sinking my convoys. This is irritating. Do I have any air bases which are closer to you? No, but I could build some on Borneo. And I think that would actually be an excellent idea. Hmm. 
Now, who's going to the Philippines? That would be you two. I think you would be closer from here. Let's test that. Yeah, perfect. Too many planes there, but that's mostly British, I think. Cool. But yeah, they are definitely going to be coming for us now. Which sucks. But now, I think that this is also a rather good place for a lovely little cliffhanger. So thank you very much, everyone, for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, be sure to hit the follow button to get notifications when I'm live again in the future. If you've really enjoyed this, then do consider subscribing. It helps the channel out and lets me do more of this kind of content. If you want to support the channel other ways, check out the Patreon, which you can find at patreon.com slash modred. Viking, I do have a YouTube channel. If you want to see more of this kind of content, I will be uploading this series up there eventually, probably in a month or two when the rest of my backlog's done. Uh, you can find that at youtube.com slash Viking. Then finally, I have a Discord, which we were talking about a little bit earlier. And you can find that at the link, which I'm sure will be shortly appearing. Let's take a look to see who is streaming. Um... League of Average Gaming is. I have not gone and raided him for a while. So, if you want to get a bit of a European of Asalis fix, he is currently playing as the Inca. League is cool. He knows a boatload about the game. And if you are interested in watching the game on Sunday and don't know anything about EU4, this is the guy to learn from. So, head over there. Say hello from Modred Viking. Throw in a couple of Viking raids just like this. I want to see his chat light up with the glorious glory of the Vikings and their mental raiding powers. So, thanks everyone for watching. I will catch you guys next time. That's going to be on Saturday, by the way. I'm not streaming tomorrow. Going to a friend's birthday. So Saturday, 5pm for more Hearts of Iron. We'll continue this game then. Thanks everyone, and I'll see you then. Bye!